All right, what we got here is the all new steel core bolt on rate kit from MC Baggers for 14 and up 26 inch wheels. And one of the great advantages of this kit is that for the first time in bagger history, you don't have to make any alterations to your stock forks, which means no extensions and a shorter fork for better stability and a shorter install time. And as you can see, the advantages are that it comes with everything you need, including the brake lines, the ABS bearing patent pending, by MC Baggers and extended fork hands. And one of the great advantages of this kit is that you don't have to make any alterations to your stock forks. So you put those forks on there, you don't have to put the extensions on there like you used to have to do. And this is a bagger first in history. So, and I'm gonna take you through the installation. It's easy as pie. Anybody can do it. And uh, let's just get right into it. All right, the first thing that you wanna do is take your rake frame, trademark MC Baggers logo, so that you know you're dealing with the original. Don't accept substitutions. And slide that on over your frame. And it just sits there like a glove. Next, take your four bolts here and your frame bracket and slide that up underneath the frame. Uh, this, your frame bracket is made of high tensile steel. This thing is the heart and soul of our steel core rake kit. And uh, it's important that it's made of the right material because of all the stress this thing has to take. So bear in mind that your, your two longer bolts go in the back and your two shorter ones go in the front up here. And also make sure that you apply red Loctite to every bolt. And for now, we're just gonna hand tighten with our five, six, five sixteenths inch Allen and our three eighths extender. And uh, we'll torque them to a value of 45 foot-pounds later on in the install. But for now, just hand tighten. Then take your longest bolt here, and this goes into the side. Again, apply red Loctite and hand tighten for now. It's important when you're installing these bolts to make sure that you refer always to the microfish because some of these pieces of hardware look very similar and uh, it'd be easy to confuse them and cause problems for you later on. Next, take your frame stem and your top clamp. Top clamp goes up here. There's only one way that it can go because of a notch. As you see, my friend here tried to put it in the wrong way. It doesn't go. Listen to the way that sounds. That is the sound of victory right there. And if it helps, you can use your index finger to sort of guide the stem along so that it threads properly. And make sure you apply blue Loctite. And for now, just hand tighten. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna torque these things down to the proper value using our state-of-the-art torque wrench here. Brandon here was doing push-ups before the, before the install, so this should be easy for him. See, look how easy that was, that's amazing. All right, next we're gonna torque your your four bolts and then torque the the five bolts that you just installed starting with the bottom here in an X pattern to 45 foot pounds. Make sure you do it in an X pattern here because the goal is that these gaps here on either side are even. So if you need to torque them a little at a time that would be the best option. Look how easy that is, 45 foot-pounds, it's like it's nothing. And then 45 foot-pounds for this bolt as well. <clears throat> Next, we're going to insert our six millimeter washer and bolt. Apply blue Loctite. And we're gonna apply a torque value of 35 foot-pounds. Man, this guy's a beast. Okay, next thing you wanna do is take your steering head cover 
and your one eighths Allen with socket wrench. And apply blue Loctite. And just tighten that on there. All right, as you can see, we have now established the new rake on your bike, and it's time for you and me to go get a cup of coffee. Sounds like a plan. And for you to do some more push ups. I don't like that part. <laughs> okay, so you want to take your upper triple and the stem, thread this down through there. And as you can see, it's notched right here, so it only goes one way. Oh, listen to the way that sounds. Apply blue Loctite to your set screw. Take your bearing and thread that up on the stem. Make sure you apply grease. And now uh, you can thread this down through your neck. And we'll go ahead and torque this set screw now to a value of 15 foot-pounds. Look how flush that is. All right. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take your lower triple, your bearing, and your bearing adjuster nut here. We're gonna hand these off to Brandon. And he's going to put the bearing there in the seat, the bearing on the lower triple. Put the put grease on the bearing and slide that up on your stem. And then hand tighten your bearing adjuster nut. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fork cans, which are included in your kit and two of these eighth inch Allen screws, plus your socket. Make sure you apply blue Loctite to these as well. And be careful not to drop them because you'll never see them again. And you can kind of feel when they seat properly, when the fork is properly, or when the uh, fork cans are properly aligned with the Lower triple. Again, apply blue Loctite. And the way that you know that you're installing the proper can is that the seam here is in the back. You shouldn't see the seam up here in the front. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ins we're going to attach our forks, but before you do that, it helps to set your bolts that hold the forks first so that you don't have to hold all the weight of the forks. So I'm going to give these to Brandon and he's going to thread these in there. Make sure you apply blue Loctite to each one of them. And these are 5 16 inch Allen bolts. You don't need it? Okay. Take it anyway. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what you need. All right. I'm going to take your fork. Carefully thread that up through your fork can and your lower triple. And guide that up on into your upper triple. And take your 5 16 inch Allen. And your torque wrench. Set your torque wrench to 40 foot-pounds and make sure that you torque this bolt here first to 40 foot-pounds
and the bolt above it to 30 foot-pounds in that order. Bottom one is 40 foot-pounds, upper one is 30, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go back and check to make sure that the lower one is 40 foot-pounds and the upper one is 40, is, uh, excuse me, 30. So the one he's torquing right now is 40, and then the upper one is 30. And now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. All right, so the next thing we want to do is torque our bearing adjuster nut which is here, and we're going to set our torque wrench to between 28 and 32, depending on your preference. If you prefer more agility, then you would tighten it to about 28 foot-pounds. If you like more stability, then you would go with 30 to 32. And then take your two set screws for the bearing adjuster nut and a 1 8 inch Allen. Put blue Loctite on there, and you're going to torque these to about five foot-pounds each. This bearing adjuster nut is a unique aspect of the MC Baggers kit that actually uh, allows you to adjust the agility or stability without having to remove the entire front end, which is Definitely an important aspect. You don't want to spend all your time working on the bike, you want to be riding the bike. So now we're going to take our lower triple set screw and apply blue Loctite and torque it to about 15 foot pounds. All right, the next thing you're going to do is install your wire harness cover. You've got, your, you've got one on each side, and this just is a nice way to cover up your wires so they're not on display for everybody to see. And this is a 5.32nd inch Allen. Make sure you apply blue Loctite. And there's one, one for each side. So before you really fully tighten these, make sure that you're not pinching any of your wires or your brake lines. And then you would just do the same thing on the other side. All right, the next thing you want to do is take your spacers and your bushings and install them properly. The importance of these is that it dampens vibration and increases the solidity of the bike. Once you're done installing the spacers and bushings and the sleeves, you're going to take your three quarter inch hex bolts and washer, thread that underneath there. Make sure you apply red Loctite. And your second washer. And then you're going to put your riser on there. And you're going to install the second three-quarter inch hex bolt as well. And torque each of these to 40 foot-pounds. Don't forget your Loctite, as per your service manual. And make sure you drop as many bolts as possible. Um, it's a good workout for you. That's right. And then once you're done with this portion, 
and your riser is installed and your bolts are torqued to 40 foot-pounds each, then refer to your service manual for further installation of the handlebars. And then, uh, again, it's important that you drop as many pieces of equipment as possible. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we have reached the end point of our install process for the brand new, shorter version of our steel core rate kit from MC Baggers. And the final step of the installation process would be to change the brake lines out with the lines that we've included with the kit. For the bleeding process, we recommend that you take it to a qualified service technician. From, from a technical standpoint, what do you guys think of the MC Bagger Steel Core Kit? I, I think that's another perfect thing about this kit. That awesome. It comes with its own brake lines, um, all the fittings and everything that you need to replace your brake lines. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got an exact replica of the banjo bolts for your ABS module. comes out perfectly. The brake lines are good rich number three brake lines. So they're good brake lines and they're already pre-cut and pre-measured so it takes all the guesswork out of it and um have you guys installed other kits as well or yeah i've installed quite a few different kinds of kits and the mc baggers by far is the best most complete kit you're going to get on the market and i mean every little detail is taken care of and double checked to make sure it is an actual complete setup, and there's no running down to the hardware store, calling a company, oh, they didn't send this. It's one and done in the same box. Awesome. Hey, Brandon, how many push-ups can you do? About two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I know that as far as uh, from a riding standpoint, um, these front ends are a lot more comfortable. Not only more comfortable, but they, they even feel sturdier. The front ends, if anyone's ever ridden a big wheel bike before, um, any of the other leading competitor, I'll say, um, the front ends feel a little bit loose. It actually feel a little heavier. With the new the new design of uh, the shorter neck uh, makes the front end actually feel lighter, more maneuverable, and the look, as you'll see later on compared to some of the other ones, it actually makes it look like the front wheel is closer and there's not so much dead space. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so let's okay. go for a ride. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs>